Decent greetings to you all. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro, otherwise known as Omar Abdul Malik. Uh, let's see, I think it's, what is it? It's 11.45 um, Tuesday evening. It's September 6th. Um, so, in another 15 minutes, uh, it's going to be my birthday, God willing, if it's September 7th. So I'll be 48, just in case for those of you all who are wondering how old I am. Um, it, I'm at an age where you start to look at your life as, like, how much time do I have left? You know, especially in terms of working. Um, I, I don't know if I want to work for another, you know, 50 years <laughs> in my 90s or whatever. But um, I was thinking about a lot of you all that have, have um, commented in the comments section about your life decisions, whether you want to do things like either go to medical school or PA school or, you know, do a DNP, doctor of nursing. You know, the, the choice is really, it's an individual one and it's nothing that I, I don't, any, I don't think anybody could give you any sound advice as far as saying, look, you should definitely do this because if you do this, then that will happen. You know, there's so many things I've done in my life thus far that either did not work out the way I wanted them to in a bad way and then certain things that worked out, you know, unexpectedly in a, in a great way. You know, I, I, I didn't get into medical school, but I met my wife you know, whilst applying to medical school. Both she and I were applying at the same time. Um, had I not um, applied at the same time she was, I, I don't know that I would have ever met her. I've been married for 21 years. So even though I failed to get into medical school, uh, I, I, I successfully um, found um, a wonderful mate, you know, to, to whom I've been married uh, for most of my adult life. And that's how things in your life will go. You know, I was a nursing student back in the early 90s. You know, that didn't work out. Uh, I was a certified nursing assistant for eight years while doing my undergraduate and then uh, even going to graduate school part-time. Didn't finish graduate school. Um, I was at Johns Hopkins University uh, back in the late 90s doing a master's in biotechnology. Had no idea what I was going to do with it. It just sounded impressive. But, um, you know, life is, is funny like that. You know, you're, you're going to, to, and trying to, I think, pursue one goal that you think for you may be a very clear-cut goal. It may lead you to, some, to other things in life. Uh, one of my favorite students, I used to teach at, um, at Howard University. I, many years ago and I my, my favorite student I, I think like one of the best students I ever had in my opinion didn't make it through the program and I say he was my favorite student one of my best students because he remained unflappable he didn't start blaming people blaming the professors blaming the program he just told me he says look I just can't really figure out how to study, um, you know, I study and then I flunk the exam, I don't know what's going on. You know, he was a family man, father and a child, and um, it, was, it was very difficult for him, and he didn't make it, but I, I always admired his character. I saw the guy years after um, he, he left uh, Howard's PA program, and it turned out that he was doing radiology. Uh, he got into a radiology therapy program. And loved it. He was very good at it. He says, man, this is my calling. I mean, I love what I'm doing. You know, it's just, I really enjoy it. So, you know, that's, that's how your life may turn out. I know some of you all may think that you really want to go to medical school or, and, you know, become a doctor or you really want to go to PA school and become a PA. Um, but you may find that, that, that God, or if you like, uh, fate will open up 
a whole different wonderful door for you that you never even considered. Uh, my story for um, the, uh, the, the PA program, I learned the first time I heard the term physician assistant was, I don't know, maybe back in the early 80s. I was at Stony Brook University. I was a freshman. And uh, there was a student who was doing a, the physician assistant program at Stony Brook. I said, what is that? I just heard the word assistant. And I was like, well, why would anybody go to school to be somebody's assistant? That's ridiculous. So I never thought anything of it. And then um, there was a friend of my father's who was a, a PA. I want to interview him. He's one of the first um, African-American PAs. Um, he, he's, um, he told me he was a PA. And I said, well, what do you do? He said, well, I'm, I do everything the doctor does, just about. So, well, why would you settle, quote unquote, for being the assistant? He says, well, you know, you, you, he had come out of the armed forces. And again, I, I didn't think anything about being a, a PA after, the, after talking to him. Um, but um, when I didn't get into medical school, and then I lost my job uh, working for a biotech firm, whilst going to grad school, um, I met somebody at a, at a scientific bookstore. And um, he told me that he was going to Howard University's PA school. And I, I saw him, he was, he was looking at uh, some USM, USMLE books. So that's the United States Medical Licensure exam books. So I, I thought he was uh, a doctor. He said, no, this is, this is what we study from. You know, our boards are somewhat similar to, um, I think he said, step one and step two. Um, of course, you know, it's, it's the, the PA um, education is not as in-depth as, as uh, the MD program. But um, back then, we didn't have a lot of, of um, P, PA board review books for the pants um, from which to study. So a lot of students would study from the USMLE books and just pick out certain questions. Anyway, after he got through telling me about what PAs did and, you know, what they had to study, I was somewhat interested. And I'm, I'm going to show you all this in uh, another video, God willing, in the future. There was a, uh, an article on the front page of the Washington Post in 1997 that said um, it was about physician assistants. It was on the front page. And I called the guy and said, look, you know, PAs are on the front page. He says, yeah. You know, this is, this is awesome. And um, back then, you know, PAs were only making $56,000 a year on average. But to me, that was a lot of money because I was making $7 a year or $7 an hour as a, uh, as a nursing assistant and a, a security guard. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that led me to um, apply to PA school and, and, and get in. So I, I think I say all of that to say that I've, I've failed at a lot of things in life, but it's because I've tried a lot of different things in life. So for those of you all that may feel frustrated in your endeavors, you know, the successes that you think are due you or the successes for which you may be striving aren't coming to you in the manner in which you think they should be coming, you know, brace yourselves because, you know, it, it, if you don't get into some program that you want to get into or you don't get a job that you think that you should get or you don't find the person in your dreams or, you know, you get a divorce or something, it may, you know, these things may lead to something wonderful in your life. You know, Michael Jordan missed, he's missed more, he missed more shots and baskets than anybody, almost anybody in, in basketball history. But he also made more points. Um, you know, the, the, uh, these, these, you know, Babe Ruth, guys like Babe Ruth, they struck out more than anybody in, in baseball history. But guys like that also had the most home runs. You know, so you got to kind of fail your way to success. You know, don't be af afraid to, to try new things and don't be discouraged when things don't work out the, uh, the way you think they will. But um, I hope you find this 
this uh, advice valuable. Please subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Take care.